Uh, we're here today to ask that the president consider issuing an executive order to, uh, to take a more unified approach to ocean policy, one based on science and the boundaries of nature, not on the arbitrary boundaries of states and government agencies. Getting a national ocean policy established would be a huge first step in that direction. It would align the work of all the different agencies concerned with oceans. It would set us off on, on policy consistency and bring us hopefully to a time when we've got healthy, thriving oceans. I just wanted to make sure that we all continue to rally behind the White House, behind the President, continue to encourage them to move forward with the original timeline that they were talking about and to tell them how incredibly excited we are that this is actually going to move forward. Uh, these kids that I'm meeting are, are really incredible and we owe it to them to spread the word and make sure they have a blue ocean to look forward to. Here in the country, President Obama's got a really great start. We need him to cross the finish line and make sure we get an ocean policy that protects, restores, and maintains our coasts and oceans. Uh, we really sort of connected. We had over 2,000 people turn out at the public hearings to restore the blue in our red, white, and blue. We have a permit to march. I think it'd be nice just to march across the park now to uh, CEQ. Uh, thank Nancy uh, Sutley, who's leading the National Ocean uh, Interagency Task Force. And, and to have people in government who not only know what they're talking about, but listen to the people. I want to start off by uh, applauding the Obama administration and its efforts to develop a comprehensive national ocean policy that will promote the responsible use and stewardship of our oceans, coasts, and Great Lakes. You know, the river is our greatest resource for restoration, and yet we have all kinds of different things that we want to do with it. There's a federal policy that requires those agencies to sit down and talk, just as you're seeing now with the, the Council on Environmental Quality bringing those agencies together. Those agencies serve at the pleasure of the president. Now is the time for a comprehensive science-based national ocean policy that will enable us to better understand and manage our ocean treasures so that we can pre preserve and protect them for generations to come. And with us sending the kind of message we are sending across the country today, we are about to have uh, a historic first ever national ocean policy ensuring the future of our oceans. We've got to somehow protect our oceans, the waterways, and our marine sanctuaries, and all along our coastline. Nationally, we must reignite, I think, a grassroots effort, effort focused so that this country our states and our cities are united in the principles of us having strong protections for our coasts, for our oceans, for the Great Lakes. The ocean, ask anybody. We all love the ocean, but we don't live. He loves the ocean. Somebody, somebody give them a blue marble. Nobody hates the ocean. Everybody loves the ocean, but we don't live like we love the ocean. And that really is the task at hand. We need to send these blue marbles forward, and we need to make our oceans our priority and the center of our attention because they do take care of us. Wear blue for oceans and support a stronger national ocean policy. Uh, my name is Philippe Cousteau, and of course I'm out here to support oceans. I'm here uh, to support a strong conservation-based national ocean policy. Wear blue for the oceans. So everybody, wear blue for the ocean. Wear blue for oceans today. January 13, 2010 was fantastic. Wear blue for the Our voices will be heard uh, to not only protect uh, all of our natural resources of the oceans, but there in the continent of the U.S. as well. I just want to say mahalo to Wear Blue for Oceans Hawaii for organizing this event and bringing more attention to protecting our oceans here in Hawaii. Uh, and also mahalo to the students and staff from Halau Lokahi Charter School and all of the environmental organizations as well as government agencies that are coming out here today.
Surf Rider Foundation. All right. Thank you.